In this video we're going to see how we can connect or register inside our database the images that are already inside our upload folder. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So there are some cases that you may need something to register your files inside your WordPress database in order to see them inside the library. So uh, if you have some files that are already inside your upload folder and there were there from the previous installation or you may delete uh, the database to create a new one or you may just upload something via FTP uh, you will not be able to see the files inside here they need to be registered inside the database and this is how WordPress works so in order to do, to do that you will need something to do the job for you and let's see the plugin this is the bulk media register and this is what we're going to see today let's start by going inside the plugins and let's go into the install plugins and first of all I was using the media from FTP and this is by Katchusi hopefully uh, I'm, I'm saying his name correctly and he created a new plugin and he said that he will be abandon this plugin and he will continue to support this one so how we're going to use that let's go to the settings first and inside the settings we're going to see that we have many settings it's a very good plugin it has uh, advanced settings inside here and if you just want to upload something you do not need to do anything inside here but let's see what we have so this is regularly search files below the specific folder or uh, you can just random search this is the paginated if you have pagination inside the images and then we have the date so we can keep the date and the time that it's currently inside the images or you can set to be the uh, new date and time file that it's based on when it was uploaded or updated not uploaded updated or you can just set your custom here and as you can see you can exclude folder from the search and you can add the execution time that says here so you can change if you have problems with your server uh, also we have the cron event here which is uh, something that you can buy and have that run every time you want so if you upload uh, files via FTP you can do this process and have it done automatically so we're going to start by going into the uh, up into the media files and into the library and first we're going to see how many items we have at this moment so we have uh, 150 56 items and of course we have some txt and this is because I have already run this import and it leaves some uh, log files inside but you can go and delete them after so as you can see I have already some images inside here I'm going now to reset the WordPress website so let's go into the plugins install plugins and I'm going to activate the uh, WP reset if you have already used this plugin you may know that what it does it basically uh, delete everything from inside the database and will recreate the 12 tables that we have when the WordPress is installed uh, from the beginning and you will have everything deleted but that doesn't affect the files so every plugin every theme and every file that you have already uploaded it will be there the plugins and the themes of course are uh, something that you can find inside here the plugins because uh, WordPress doesn't need anything inside the database to identify the plugin it needs uh, inside the database the settings of the plugin but for the plugin to be activated it doesn't need anything except the files inside uh, the directory of the plugins the same goes for the themes you can see that inside the themes I have the Astra theme and here I have the 2020 because I have deleted the 20 uh, 2021 I have deleted the 2019 and the 2020 so it doesn't have anything else inside here because it needs the files but if I go into the media and I go into the library I don't have anything inside here now I know that inside my files uh, inside the upload folder I do have images and they are there let's go into the plugins let's go into the install plugins again and let's go and activate the WP file manager which is basically a file manager for inside the WordPress and let's go inside here let's go no thanks and if I go here as you can see 
Uh, let's go to uploads. You will see that I have all those folders. And if I go here, that says 2018 inside the six month, I have all of those images and of course the thumbnails of them. So I have files, but they are not uh, written inside the database. And that's why uh, WordPress cannot show them inside my media. This is how WordPress works. So I'm going inside the plugins again, install plugins, and I'm going to activate the bulk media register. And now let's go into the bulk register. Here I have two options. I have the select register where you can see all the images and you can select those that you want. Uh, give it a minute to scan the folders. So it scanned everything and it says here 157 images that are inside inside the files and I can just select what I want and I can register. So they will go inside my uh, database and it will be appeared inside media here. Let's go also into the uh, here I have the same. So let's go here into the media. I'm going to open the library in a new tab. I'm going to see that it's empty, of course, now. And I'm going to select all the for the first page. Now, I do like that, as it says here, I have one of eight pages. And if I register those, they will not reappear again when I select uh, to scan again the images. Uh, it identifies that those images are already registered in the database, so it will not be asking me to uh, register them again. So after those first uh, 20 images, it will ask again for the uh, next images. See, it will say uh, that I have less uh, pages, not eight, but uh, seven. As you can see, one of seven. So I have less items now that I can register. And if I go into the media library, I can refresh here and I will see that I have now some images inside here. And I also like that it just scan and register the images and not the thumbnails of the images. So I have here the honey and I can see that this is inside the uploads 2020 and 9. And if I go inside the files and if I go to 2019 and what was the month? Uh, 2020 and 9th month, okay, 2020, here, let's refresh that because this is from the uh, previous installation, so refresh, okay, and let's go to 2020, and okay, let's open that, and let's go to 9th, the 9th month, and here we're going to see that we have the honey jar free uh, image, and of course I have also the thumbnails of that, and I have the image here, but here it just recognized and took only uh, the honey image and not the thumbnails, which is awesome. So let's go also back here and I'm going to select now the bulk register. I'm going to click that and this means that I will not be able to select uh, which images I want. I just want to select everything or uh, select a specific folder and upload, not upload, uh, register everything from that folder into my database. So here I'm going to select which folder I want. Of course, you can just uh, leave it as it says uploads if you don't want to specify anything. And here I have all the extensions or you can select the extension that you want to register. Another great feature here, I'm going to select here to click select. And here it waits for you to put also a text so it will only scan one. It doesn't want to scan here first the images and then type something and then click search and then rescan because it adds uh, it adds sources, it reduces sources from the server. It adds requests. So it does uh, wait for you to do something here. So just click search if you don't want to add any text here. It will say 137 files that are all ready to be registered. And it will not show anything because this is the bulk uh, register. This is for everything. So I'm going to click register. And of course, this will take some time depending on how many images you will have. Now, as you can see here, it says that this image took the ID 27, 25, sorry, with this title, the permalink, the URL. And as you can see, the date is the date that we have at this moment. And this is because I just upload those uh, today but there are other images that will have another date or time and uh, if you wait enough you will see now inside the media library and let's refresh here and you will see that it has uh, uploaded and has registered some other images not uploaded uh, register so 
there are some uh, cases that you may need this plugin. As I've said, uh, you may need to move a website to another uh, location of the server, to a new directory or a subdirectory, or do something else. And it's faster to copy the files inside the server instead of exporting via the WordPress or uh, exporting via the server and importing them via WordPress. So uh, you can just copy inside the server, inside the folders, and then have them have them register via this plugin. Also, uh, as I've said, you may need to upload via FTP because you may have uh, too many images and you want to upload those directly and you don't want to do that with the uh, library and add new feature. And in other cases, you may are using the uh, reset plugin. And as you saw, the reset uh, doesn't recognize the image after the reset, even though I have the images inside here. So even though you may need, you may don't need them, you should uh, just first register them and then delete them. So you will empty up the space. Uh, if you do the reset process one or two times, you will end up with having images inside your folders that you will not be able to delete them. So uh, that was all how the plugins works. Hopefully it will be uh, handy uh, for you, a handy plugin. Uh, it has helped me a lot in many cases. And I will just want you to uh, see how I'm doing this. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.